And now, it's time for another episode of Smoke Break Talk. In my opinion, a drummer only needs a, a kick, a snare, a hi-hat, and maybe one cymbal, maybe one tongue. And you shouldn't miss a beat. You don't have to I be. Agree you don't that. have to be Neil Kerr with right. all this shit. I am totally right. You don't, don't have to be like Carmine to Peace. Yep. Or, that shit's know, all for looks. You know, because you can only play two things at a right. time, basically. But have you ever? Have you ever? Um, as a drummer, but have you ever played like the double the kick? Double kick? No, I never got Good. into that. Good. I I never liked what it did to the music. Right. But um, I mean, maybe it's good. It's good for metal or whatever. But yeah, I don't yeah. play metal. Right, you right. Don't play I don't play it and really don't listen to it, so right. it never really influenced me, and I never really wanted to have a double kick. Mm -hmm. But um, my favorite drummer of probably all time, the guy from the Police, the guitar player. Andy Summer. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So, so Stuart, Stuart, Stuart Copeland. That guy is fucking brilliant. You think so? Totally. Okay. He. I mean, he, I'm not to a me, big fan of the police. He's right up here for drummers. Really? Right up there. Okay. Uh, yeah, I love him. Um, you're not a big fan of the police, huh? No, I don't no. love the police at all. I, I, I think I think they're overrated. I think I think Sting Well, that synchronicity album shot them into oh, yeah, super yeah, starting. Yeah. Because yeah, before that, they didn't have that many hits. They did, well, but they, they had were, the, you know, Roxanne I, and Oh, I was just gonna say and, Roxanne. Yeah. I hate that song. Yeah. Roxanne. Yeah. Why did you turn on the red light? You know, the way <laughs> Sting sings it. I mean, it's just it's a stupid ass song. I know. Do 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 da 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 da. Can you I, imagine coming going into band practice saying, saying, "Hey guys, hey, I got this new song." Do 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 da da da. I'd be kicked out of the goddamn yeah. motherfucking band. It's like the other two guys should have went. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Right, <laughs> uh, we're gonna get somebody new. Uh -huh. But um, <laughs> they can actually write some. But yeah, no. Uh, yeah, he. Um, <laughs> He was, I thought, an amazing, still is an amazing drummer, and uh, he was an American, too, in a British band, mostly. Oh, was he? Yeah, I, I believe, he was, over, I don't believe know. he was over there. His dad was part of the army or something, maybe? Oh, okay. We'll have to look that up. But, right. Uh, yeah, I would I put know. him up there, um, and I think it, Matt Cameron, I think, is his name, who was the original drummer from Soundgarden. Okay, I never heard of him. He's now playing, he, I think he plays with Pearl Jam now, maybe. Okay. But, uh, yeah, he's really good too. All right. Um, kind of hard to copy, I guess, if you will. Okay. And maybe that's why I like him because he's like, "Whoa, that guy is doing stuff I I can't do," you know. But um, you know, whenever you talk drummers, you know, the big three always come up: John Bonham, uh, Alec, or um, the guy from Rush, Neil uh, Peart. Neil Peart. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. is John Bonham. Yeah, no. <laughs> so you like the guy dead from No, I don't. <laughs> That's what you like. They're not. John Bonham is dead. He's great, but he's dead. But he's not. Neil Burke is list. dead. He was considered great. He's dead. He's not on the top of my list. And um, the guy from The Who, um, <coughs> who's dead, Keith Moon. Oh, yeah. 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 So uh, you like dead drummers. No. We should start a band no. called The Dead Drummers. I always <laughs> thought it was sad. Yeah, rock music always goes back to those three, and like they haven't. Well, Keanu Pert survived a little farther, but the rest of them didn't even make it out of the seventies. You know, right, right. so it's like I always look for new heroes on drumming. You know, right. and um, the guy from the Police and the guy from Soundgarden, uh, Matt Cameron and uh, Stuart Copeland. I thought, and they're two different drummers. Their their styles are nothing. Right, right. But, yeah. Uh, All I right. like them. Uh, the guy, uh, Charlie Watts from Rolling Stones. Rolling Stones. Stones. He's dead. You yeah. like dead drummers. He's I swear dead. to God, we're, we're going to do an episode of dead drummers. Nobody ever ripped on Charlie Watts, though. Oh, Charlie Watts, he was just a, a, a meat and sandwich guy, man. He yeah, was, but he was you know, a little more good. He had some technique. What about Rango Starr? You know my opinion on him. I don't know that. Uh, he, Did you I tell don't... me any Rango Starr? Yeah, well, I think he's the luckiest drummer on the oh, face yeah. of the earth. Well, that was, yeah, yeah you put up that uh -huh. thing. Yeah, and he not was that I think he's bad, you know. And, or nothing. I Maybe just think, Pete Best was better. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Ringo was a better but, Beatle, as I've heard it. Well, say, he was, 
he was a beetle. I don't think Pete Best even made it to. No, but he's he he does he's got a YouTube channel. Oh, uh, does he? That I've checked out, and you know he's trying to capitalize on all that. You okay. Know? Well, uh, hell, if I was a former beetle, I'd be like. And I think his uh, mom still owns the house that they used to practice at way back in really? the at. Because yeah. 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 I remember I saw YouTube videos on this stuff. Okay. Yeah, so Pete <laughs> Best is it. still trying to hang on to that yeah, beetle right. connection that he didn't really ever have. Because <laughs> they weren't the fucking Beatles you know, right. until way later. Here's the thing, you know. You know <coughs> I don't know, man. You're here in a band and you get booted, and then you, the band becomes huge. It's kind of like okay, we've talked about we're talking about drummers, drummers. Dave Grohl, Dave Grohl. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, we've well, talked about Dave Grohl before. Yeah, well, he's in a, probably one of my favorite musicians. Yeah, you know, yeah. He's, a, he's a great musician. Yeah, um, I remember though reading an interview with him when they were recording the Nirvana albums. They made him play to a click track because he oh, was they? so really? all over with his tempos. Yeah, really, and he struggled with that. See, I watched some stuff recently. You know, he was like the sixth drummer for Nirvana. Really? Yeah. Wow. And I know he wasn't the original. No, but. he was like the sixth goddamn drummer. And I watched some stuff where it was like, you know, you see something on YouTube and it's like, oh, Dave Grohl and Kurt Cobain didn't get along, you know. But anybody can put fucking shit up on YouTube just like we do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, well, Courtney Love yeah. probably had some shit with that. Right, you know. But, um... But yeah, so I guess he was a six drummer. I don't know the whole history of Nirvana. I wasn't a big fan of the band Nirvana. I do think Dave Grohl is a hell of a musician. Yeah, as far as drummers go, for me, my drummers are like Chris Mars from The Replacements. You know, and it's funny. I heard shit. Paul Westerberg thought Chris Mars was a shitty drummer, and my thought on that is. It's like, dude, you came into the band after Chris Myers was in the fucking band. Yeah, you know, yeah, so yeah. who the fuck are you to say something? Yeah, that's you know, where, about yeah. the goddamn drummer. The front and, man, the songwriter, ends up being right, the leader. You know? you know, and I mean, that's bullshit. In my yeah, opinion. Chris Myers was nothing, nothing great, but he, I knew what he saw. Hey, here's my thing: as a musician, as a guitar player, as a bass player, if you can keep a four-four beat. You can play hundreds For of songs. For three <laughs> fucking minutes, I'm good with you as a goddamn drum. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 